Good morning, squad. Another beautiful day. I'm John Rone with Sophisticated Redneckery, and we are getting ready to go out in Virginia Beach. The winds are supposed to pick up 25, around 20 to 30 miles an hour today. I'm averaging 25. So we're probably not gonna go out to the tunnels like we we're going to. So I think we're gonna hit Lynn Haven Inlet and just putts around back in there. But you have to deal with the conditions, especially when you travel like we do. We don't just have the opportunity to, oh, let's go out to the water today. Here we are. You know, we're three and a half hours away from where we fish. So we're here, we're gonna fish, we're gonna get after it. So we got our, our cousins with us today and we're gonna have a little man's trip. Should be fun. Stick around. <laughs> William with us, we got Bill, well, Bill and William. We've got fam out on the boat today. So we're gonna hit Lynn Haven, run back up in the bay here a little bit and see what we can get into. What are we trying to catch? Flounder, red drum, and Spot. Uh, speckle trout. Speckle trout, we gonna catch anything? I hope so. All right, that's a good attitude, I like it. So you guys, oh, you haven't seen Bill yet because our other video we couldn't even get on. So this is Bill right here. That's right. So people. Look at it. It's so pretty. 100% sexy. We on the rack over there. Dude, he's got his own beach, man. This dude is not messing around over here. Check out that joint. Look at the quad on the back of the boat right in there. Look at he's got his own beach, he's got quads, he's got a boat ramp launch, he's got he got a yeah, this dude ain't messing around. It's some money down here. Get in, boy. Don't know about that. Get in. Hey, I hurt you, man. Look at him playing. Look at him playing. Look at him playing around. Here, jump in, jump in. Hey Dolphin! They just saw us and they're like, we're out. See where they pop up now. Oh, there they are right there. Whoa, those are big dolphins. Get in the water, dude. Chicken. <laughs> Chase got one. He just, he's so old. This is so old. Chase is on fire. Pufferfish, nice. So, have you ever seen these? You ever seen them? Edible. Well, if it swallowed it. Look at that teeth. Dude, he really swallowed it. All right, should we eat him? <laughs> Guess we're gonna have to keep him. Hey, we're not trying to help. Show that guy. Let's see. That's pretty cool. He'll all right, so we're rolling now. Now, the audio cut out on this portion of the trip, and I don't know why, but it was just this part. And one of the cool things about fishing uh, is bringing kids out who don't get a chance to fish much. Now, Bill up there fishes a lot. William just hasn't been out and connected with a lot of fish. So it was cool to see right here. We put William on a basic bottom double, du double rig on the bottom, and he caught his first ever redfish. So very excited for him. Congratulations, William, and that's really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this short here. We got our puffer fish. So we're gonna go ahead and take it to the house. There wasn't a lot of action today. Let's hit the kitchen. All right, guys, so another fish that we got today that we wanted to try is the Northern puffer fish. It was the Southern puffer fish, I don't know what it is, but it's just a puffer fish. So I'm gonna show you how I've learned or been told to clean these. Never done it before? Let's give it a try. Yeah, yeah. let's give it a try. Got two little puffer fish. They're not big ones, but you know what? We want to try them. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take these puffer fish, and we're just gonna take a cut right behind the head. Just down past the backbone. Just break the backbone, just like that. Okay? Just like that. Okay, we'll feel the knife go through and just stop once you get past the backbone. All right, 
Now, we're gonna take a sturdy fork. <laughs> there you go, guys. That was my first attempt at that. It pulls everything out and you're good to go there. That's it, just like that. So with a knife and a fork, there's your meat for your puffer. These are basically ready to flour, pan sear, fry, whatever you want, season them. You don't even need to take the little fins off of them. They're ready. This is what I'm told, they're ready. I've decided to do, after some research, watching some of my friends on YouTube, seeing what they did, I've decided to do tempura puffer fish. I've only got two of them, so we're just gonna try them, Brooks and Chase and I, and see how they turn out. But I figured that's kind of a cool way to do it, which will give a nice little crust to it. And I've heard they eat like chicken wings, so we're gonna just dip them in this batter and then cook them up that way. Let's get after it, let's cook some fish. So I hope you guys are enjoying everything we're putting together for you guys. If you do, please subscribe, hit that like button, share it with your friends. Hit that share button and just send it off to your people. All your peeps, man. Send it to them so we can get some new subscribers. We're just trying to grow and have fun. Honestly, it's not about the money to us. We're never gonna make a ton of money doing YouTube, but at the same time, it's just fun to see you guys enjoying it and all the subscribers we get. So thank you very much, and we will see you in the next step. All right, so here's what we're gonna do for the tempura, the puffer fish tempura. Now I've got them in a little baggie here. You can't even see them. I gotta take these out of the baggie for you. Hold on one second, ready? There you go. There's your, there's your, here is your puffer fish fillets. Now you can see what I did earlier, yesterday I pulled off all the skin. We're gonna take these, dip them in the tempura, and then go with that. So now for my tempura, I showed you the box. You saw the box that I used and I'm gonna add Everglades heat to my tempura mix. Just to spice it up a little bit. The key to tempura mix and batter is cold water. Add water till it gets the consistency you want. All right, so we're gonna take our trigger fish and we're gonna go ahead and just take our trigger fish and put it in our batter. Right there, y'all. Just throw it in there. It's good to go, right? Get those babies in there. Okay, we want a little higher, guys. Bring your oil to like almost around 400. So when you put your fish in, it's gonna drop, right? All right, so Brooks is gonna find the puffer fish in here. Nope, you move the bowl closer and then just go ahead and go ahead and, there you go. Good. So that is a whole puffer fish. There's another one in there somewhere. We would have four if you didn't throw them back. That is true. Why don't you just find the puffer fish for God's sake? It won't. All right. Good. Okay, there you go. It's like a funnel cake. There you go. Let me turn this up a little bit. When the, when the fish is done, we're gonna be back. Well, this is why I get them outside, guys, because they play video games almost all the time, which I don't mind, because they get outside and they do other things. They do their schoolwork and they hunt and fish so they can play their video games. I think kids should have to earn that stuff. It's a privilege, right? I used to play video games. Who are you kidding? We all did. We just didn't have all this fun stuff they had. We had like Atari, Centipede, Pac-Man. Another two minutes. Puffer fish, baby. Puffer fish. All right, so here's our puffer fish. Check it out. Check out the puffer fish. That's looking tasty. Looking tasty. I'm gonna plate that. I'm gonna bring that over the table and have a little taste test. All right, so here's what we got. We're at the table. This is Kiko Man sushi soy sauce. Here's our things. That's the tail. You can eat the tail if you it's want. It's not the tail. So eat like a chicken wing. You eat it off the side of the meat. Try it without anything. Is it hot? No. It's not. Oh my god. Really? <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Feel that. Uh, okay. I'm gonna try it. I didn't get meat. Oh, he's just eating the batter. Of course it's amazing. Wow. That's actually 
actually very good. Yeah, you like it? Try that. Ah. So what they said, the bone's down the middle, guys, right? So you eat it like a Ooh. chicken wing. Okay, dip it. That's very good. Mm. Wow. Look at that meat, y'all. That is amazing. So dip it in here. See what you think. Chase is just tearing into it. No, no, no. Save some for daddy. Oh. All right, so I'm going to dip into the sauce that Brooke spilled on the table. Okay, so we're not going to... No, clean it up. I will. I'm gonna try it with we're going to dip off of it. That's strong. I'd go the sweeter sauce. You go sweet sauce, but you don't need anything with this. It's a mate crunchy yeah, I tail. I, I don't eat tail. All right, I'll get this one. You eat that one. You just chew it. Yeah. French fry. Fried crispies. French fry. Puffer fish, French fry. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> you can tell how everybody's attacking it. It's awesome. Everybody says it's amazing, and you don't know until you actually try it yourself. This is amazing. And yeah, see, we spill. Well, my boys always spill, so this is just how we end up eating our food. What do you think? 7,000. 7,000 out of 10. He gave it a 7,000 out of 10. Chase, what do you think? How do you think it was? Two million, two trillion, two billion. Yeah, Chase makes up words. So clearly it was amazing, Chase. But guys, that was amazing puffer fish. Every puffer fish we catch from now on, we are keeping. So good, absolutely so good. I highly recommend it. You catch, hopefully you can use this video if you guys get out and catch some and you like it. Use this video, cook them up. I'm, I'm still like I'm coming over here and eating like what's wrong. Sophisticated redneckery, y'all, at its best. Finger food, puffer fish. Oh yeah. We appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button right down there below. And we love you and we'll see you on the next one.